What's new is that we'd all have an individual responsibility to carry health insurance, whether we get it through an employer, a government program, or by buying it on our own. And that's the mandate, the individual mandate that's included in the law and is the central issue before the Supreme Court. The law would cover, um, according to current estimates, more than 30 million people who are now uninsured. Um, so, so more than 30 million people would obtain coverage under the law. Now, about half of them would be eligible for Medicaid, and the other half uh, would have to purchase it S starting in 2015 when you file your income tax return for tax year 2014, you will have to certify um, that you have health insurance. And if you don't, you'll have to pay a penalty. And that penalty starts out modest and then ramps up. When it's fully in place, it'll be the greater of $695 or 2.5% of your taxable income. Now there's some exemptions there. Uh, low income people, um, people who don't make enough money to file income taxes in the first place, to file a return, they're exempt. Um, illegal immigrants are not covered by this law, so there'd still be a large number of uninsured illegal immigrants. Roughly about 20% of people who'd be eligible for benefits under this law are currently uninsured. And the, when the law's in place, that would drop it down to fewer than 10% of eligible Americans would be uninsured. So there'd be a big in, increase in the number of people with health insurance.